coming from your background as a professional basketball player, coming here, seeing the first ever pro basketball league happening in Jamaica, what does that mean to you? It's inspiring. Um, you know, I'm growing up here and like just going through the process the way I did, not having any pro players in Jamaica to watch and like learn from and stuff. You know, it was really hard, you know, to like translate and, and get better. But like now, the youth and the younger kids can see like, you know, watch pro games and see like catch on catch on to new things, like learn learn new things, like you know, next level things, you know, and it's great. Yeah. And from your professional opinion, how does the talent look this tournament? I think it's really good. I think I've seen some guys that I played with in the US. Um, I went to Texas to train and I saw some guys that I actually played with. I um, mean, I scrimmaged with them and I see it's really good talent here. And what so far has been your favorite part of the tournament between the two games? What are some highlights for you? I think my favorite part is just watching the guys that I know personally, like Joel, watching those guys come out here and compete, you know, in their country um, respect, respect, respectfully. You know, um, He's a guy, he's, he has great pride, you know, and whenever we speak, we speak about Jamaica, you know, to see him doing this here at the pro level in his country, his country is, is really good. And do you have any advice for people who are coming here from Jamaica, trying to get their foot in the door to go to the next level in the professional world? What advice do you have for them? Just stay, tr stay true to yourself and stay true to your course, you know. Um, nobody knows your journey, nobody knows your story better than you, you know, so that, just keep believing in yourself. Not, don't let anything or any, um, any, don't let anyone, anything or anyone like persuade you from doing what you actually want to do, you know. Um, a lot of guys get like, they, they get into a situation or they, they face certain obstacles and they, they give up and they feel like, you know, they don't want to do it no more. Like, if you feel like this is what you want, I feel like you should just give me 100% and you need to go after it. That's great. And, you know, since this is the first time this is happening, do you see this being something that can go further in Jamaica and in the Caribbean? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's, it's starting out right now. I think it started out really good. It's better than I thought. I see people coming out to support and stuff, you know, that's big time. I think it's, it has a long way to go, you know. And I, I'll do my part to help, you know, getting it better, you know. Hopefully, you know, build better de development programs and stuff, but I think it could go a long way. Are we going to see you at any more games? Yeah, hopefully. All right, I look forward to it. All right, thank you. Thank you so much.